Officers have been horrified to learn of allegations of racism and misogyny in Gwent Police, according to the Police and Crime Commissioner. Jeff Cuthbert said he expected all police officers and staff to adhere to proper standards of behavior. Four Gwent police officers have now been suspended as part of an investigation into claims of racism, misogyny, and homophobia in the force. The Sunday Times has published further allegations by two women. One accused the police of a creating a rotten culture of misogyny. Another, who alleged she was assaulted by a senior officer, said she then found herself facing misconduct allegations which she described as spurious. The newspaper first published allegations of racism, misogyny, and homophobia two weeks ago. Offensive messages were reportedly found on the phone of retired police officer Ricky Jones, who took his own life in 2020. The messages were discovered by his family. Mr. Jones's daughter said she was upset after learning of the suspensions via the media. As well as offensive content, the messages were said to show evidence of corruption within the force. The Independent Office of Police Conduct IOPC, said several serving officers were under investigation and it would keep the involvement of other officers under review. The IOPC decision follows referrals from Gwent Police, which was asked by the watchdog for further information after the messages came to light, and Wiltshire Police, which is investigating the Gwent Force. Gwent Police has referred several serving and former officers to the IOPC. The force said it was committed to working with the IOPC to ensure a full and transparent process to tackle any unacceptable behavior by officers. Speaking to BBC Radio Wales Sunday Supplement, Mr Cuthbert denied that Gwent Police was institutionally racist. We've now had three Sunday Times stories on the trot, essentially making the same point, he said. I hope we can be allowed to get on with the investigation so we can bring this whole matter to as speedy a conclusion as possible. I've heard a number of commentators refer to it's not a few bad apples, it's the whole orchard but when you say that you cast a cloud over all police officers. And I can tell you, the overwhelming majority of Gwent officers are as horrified as we are of these allegations and they want to make it clear they have no part in that. Last week, Andrew R. T. Davies, the Welsh Conservative leader in the Senate, wrote to Home Secretary Suala Braverman asking for the force to be placed in special measures. Chief Constable Pam Kelly said, I am clear that we are determined to challenge and remove those who do not uphold our values.